Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning into your uh, next major love, next big love person who's coming in for you. So this is a collective message. If you've seen it, you've clicked on it, there might be some news here um, into who's coming in. Okay, what they're going to be like, what they're going to look like, uh, what to look out for. So this is a new love, a new connection, anything of the sorts, whether you're looking or not. Um, this may have found you for a reason. So uh, drop a like if you enjoy this bit. Of course, subscribe to the channel uh, if you'd like as well. Um, otherwise, let's jump into this and have a look at who is coming towards you. Okay, strong Aries is coming through. Okay, a really new person, beautiful energy. This is a very um fiery kind of energy, right? I'm getting a lot of fire here. Ace of Wands, the Magician, Eight of Wands. Uh, so I'm getting a really strong personality that's coming through. The Magician really dazzles. So this is someone who is about to really dazzle you. Um, they're a born entertainer, they're a storyteller, possibly even Gemini. Sometimes the magician is seen as a gem. Um, but I get that they're something about a performer or an entertainer, okay? So, or uh, quite a dominant personality. So they stand out from the crowd is what I'm getting. Um, but I'm getting they are available and they're going to be very, um, very alluring. Okay, they're going to have this magnetic energy that's really going to draw you in. But I do feel like for some of you, um, you're going to hear news from this person uh, very soon, or you may hear news from them in or around Aries season. Um, it's someone who's currently leveling up in their life. Um, but this is news and communication. Could also be like when you meet or connect with this person, they're going to be really quick to message you or like follow up. So I'm getting someone who responds really quickly, someone who wants to chat. There's an availability to them. Um, so that's coming through quite strongly. I do feel like this person is available. They are currently single is what I'm getting. I also get that if they do have, I'm seeing children here, so... They may work with children like a teacher. Um, they may have children. Um, they may write children's book, uh, children's books. Uh, they may work, work in children's health. Something about children is coming up. Could also be this person's inner child. Um, but for some of you, they might, it might be someone who has been divorced or separated. The judgment card is here. And it might be that this is not just yet finalized. Um, if there is a separation of some kind. So they could be in the process. You might be meeting someone who's currently separated or in the process of separating. Um, the judgment can also be like contracts and karmic ties. So for some of you, even though it's a new person, they may be bringing karmic ties with them. So there's still some lessons you need to learn. You haven't learned maybe through another person. Universe may be sending you someone else, someone new, and you think it's all done and over, but it's really not. It's really not because there's more coming. The judgment card is reversed, meaning there's still some karmic lessons you need to learn with this person or this connection. And I think you're going to learn it through them. I think it's a divine, divine connection, ace of wands. This is the hand of God. So this is divine intervention. Okay, this is the universe, God, intervening in your life and bringing you this person because there is lessons here. But you're going to manifest them. Okay, the magician or like the someone who's big on manifesting. So I get you may meet under very spiritual circumstances. You may think it's coincidental, but I'm getting something about manifesting. Could be like you manifest uh, to go to a particular concert or you manifest um, a seminar or you've been manifesting someone who is quite spiritual 
or spiritually minded. And then this person just kind of shows up. But the magician just, that's what I mean. It, they just show up. Okay. It just, one day they're not there. The next day they are. So um, I'm getting someone who's going to show up really quickly in your life. Quite unexpected. Um, or it could even be like a last minute thing. Like you might be, you might get a last minute invitation or a last minute intuitive nudge to attend an event or something could be anything with entertainment as well because there's an entertaining kind of energy next to this person so it might just be you get that spark and you meet them and it's unexpected but really you've been manifesting this um i do want to mention there is a part of there is a part of this person um that carries something nostalgic because the Six of Swords can be the past and the w world reversed is showing me there's an incomplete cycle with someone from the past. Um, Ace of Wands, yes, is normally seen as new, a new kind of energy, but it could be like a new version of someone from the past. So they might have leveled up. You might have not been in contact. Maybe they've done some traveling. They've worked on themselves. The magician does work on themselves. Um, it's a very individualized, uh, independent kind of energy. So I wouldn't be surprised if um, this person may carry something from the past. Or it could even be there's someone similar. Some part of their personality is very specific and very similar to maybe someone you've dated before. And so, yeah, they're coming through. And of course, you've got some traveling kind of energy here. So it could be someone who does or has had a bit of a travel. Could be like a different heritage as well. Um, there's a lot of, um, I'm seeing a lot of the countryside, hills and mountains. So they might have traveled to these destinations or they grew up in these uh, sort of destinations with this terrain. Um, you know, there's a boat here. Boat can be departures. Um, it can be someone who has a love of water, maybe someone who has a houseboat um, or someone who lives by the canal, for example. Uh, could be a love for water sports and things like shipping, um, fishing, sorry. Or they could also do like, um, could be like imports, exports, shipping, but across the seas. Could even be like working for a cruise liner. You might even meet on a cruise liner. So there's, there's definitely that connection here. I think at first, yeah, they're really going to be more full on. But then eventually, as you start to bond and connect, they'll slow down the connection and things, which I think is kind of natural. Um, they may seem anxious at first is what I want to say, but then they're going to start to feel more comfortable with you as the connection evolves. And yeah, as you sort of get more comfy with each other right and you know what you want and you get into a bit of a routine and you know you've gotten to know each other um yeah so you might think i feel like some of you are going to be like wow okay this person's coming on really strongly but if you give them a chance you're going to see that a they're going to be really excited about you but b they're going to sort of um catch themselves out um and then they're going to sort of just slow down and take things um, take things down a notch, but not in a bad way. I think they're just going to get really comfortable with you. But I do think they are looking for love. They do have the Knight of Cups. Um, it's emotional kind of energy. This is an emotional offer. They may have a water sign placement in their moon or their Venus. So Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio in their um, their moon sign or their Venus sign. But that's really exciting. Gonna go on a journey. It's all about taking those first few steps and journeying forward, journeying ahead, pressing ahead. You could even travel a lot with this person or they may invite you to travel around with them. But that's very exciting. 
What's happening? You are in a manifesting energy, so keep attracting, visualizing, and envisioning this love because it's definitely coming. This person's energy is really, really strong here. So I'm going to leave it there, but thank you again for tuning in. All the best and bye for now.